I've tried every single Apollo scraper and in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact one you should use in 2026. So with that being said, let's just jump into it. So uh, there are two main inherent problems when it comes to scraping Apollo data, right? And if you're in the cold email world, you'll know, um, you know these issues, right? Because you probably run into them you know, frequently. Now, the typical ways of scraping data are from platforms like Export Apollo, Ample Leads, Boomerang, Urban Starter, Appify, all these other alternatives. There's probably you know, 20, 30 more, but uh, no matter what, there's a third party tool that's scraping you know, this data from Apollo. And now the inherent problems are that the scraping takes 24 to 48 hours to even receive the data at most times because of Apollo's you know, changes and updates that obviously changes uh, the API connections and overall uh, that changes how the scrapers actually get their data. Um, they cost way too much. Again, in comparison to Apollo, it's cheap, but in comparison to what I'm going to show you in a bit, it's expensive. Customer support never answers you. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a uh, or I've had issues with these platforms and I talk to customer support. And no one, you know, no one wants to answer me. That's great. That's how it is. Um, there's missing data from most lists, right? When you scrape, they just miss data. They just don't have all that you've scraped. And then it's extremely unreliable when you need to scrape quickly, right? If you're in a rush, you need to launch a client. You need to do it for yourself. Whatever you're using it for, um, you need to pull data. It's very unreliable and it's not a scalable source when you want to scrape data at scale, okay? Now, that's the first inherent problem when it comes to scraping Apollo data. The next problem is straight up Apollo, right? The data from Apollo only comes in from Sales Navigator. There's one source of data that it comes from. The filtering is way off and there's no direct scraping internally. So you have to leverage these other uh, scraping tools in order to scrape data from Apollo, okay? Now, this is a big issue and I'll show you how I typically you know, build a list on Apollo and I'll just show you kind of the step-by-step -step process that I take and then I'll show you after the better way of doing it. Okay, so, um, Right now, what you typically do is you typically go to the companies tab and you would, you know, start your filtering, right? You would typically go, I pretty much start with locations. So let's just say we have United States um, and I want to target companies between one to 50 headcount in specifically the marketing and advertising space, right? Just to make it simple. Now, if I want to get access to the decision makers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I have all the people that, that work here. But I want to specifically and only get the, you know, CEO, um, let's say CEO, founder, um, let's say CMO, just for example, these three job titles. And you'll notice with Apollo, a big thing, um, a lot of the Apollo data uh, or a lot of the data Apollo does not have access to. Okay, so you have to physically go here and click on verified email. This isn't a verified, like an SMTP verified email. This is an email that Apollo actually has access to. Okay, now there's 32,000 here of what I just pulled, which is decent, not that crazy. Um, now, if I want, I want to actually scrape this data, I'm going to have to go to these platforms to actually get this data. Um, it's going to take me hours to scrape, and it's just a very messy process. Now, What's the alternative? The alternative is a platform called A-Leads. A-Leads is not an Apollo scraper, but they have the exact same data as Apollo, but more. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the solution to, to the other uh, problems is using A-Leads, the data comes in way faster. There's way more verified leads. You can uh, actually save files within the platform because, you know, Apollo, you can't because you have to keep making free accounts. Um, data from multiple sources, not just sales dev, as I mentioned, and it's cheaper than scraping di directly from Apollo. I want to preface this. This is not an Apollo scraper. This is a alternative to Apollo, like a separate database, and it gets the same information that Apollo has, but more, right? Because Apollo gets its, its information from sales dev. This gets it from sales dev, Crunchbase. Um, zoom info, a lot of other data sources. Now, let's just jump into it. I'll show you a demo of how it works. Now, A leads, as you can tell, it looks just like Apollo. Um, it's the same type of platform here where you have your companies tab, people tab, files, email validator, data enrichment, all the kind of all that kind of nice stuff, right? Now, if I go ahead and build the exact same list that I just did before, right? You know, companies in the United States, 
um, you know, one to 50 headcount. And uh, in the marketing and advertising industry, and I go and try to get the decision makers here. Okay, let's do job titles and the same exact ones, the same exact ones. Right, CEO, founder, CML. I don't have to click verified status because Elites have has all this data. Right, they if I I can go to every single page. The uh, Ailey does have this data and they also have phone numbers as well, which you can get access to, which is a big benefit, All right? So rather than relying on, you know, 32,000 leads and out of here, you have to do your, your verification. This is actually going to become like 17, 19,000. You can just go to a leads and get 54,000 that they actually have. And when you scrape this data, um, you can verify it and well, it, which, which uh, a leads already verifies the data for you. So you don't have to go to anywhere to do it. Right, so it's a big benefit of using it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to scrape the data from uh, a lead, just because I want to show you how quick it is. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to, and again, instead of going to a separate scraping tool to get this data, you simply just go here. You have your data here, and you click on bulk export. Name your list, marketing companies, whatever, and you can do script the full list, a thousand, whatever. I'm just going to script a thousand quickly. Uh, you want to click enrich leads with emails. So this cost will cost you credits. You just need a thousand just to, you need a thousand credits for this just because I want to scrape a thousand leads. So it's one credit per lead and create export. And that's it. So now I'm going to quickly wait for the data to come in and I'll get back when it's done. All right. So as you can see, the data has just come in. A thousand leads were scraped in 39 seconds, fully verified. That's it. 39 seconds. Very quick. So I can go here. Uh, click on download file and I'll actually just open up this file just to kind of show you um, kind of what we're working with as far as data. Let's go here. There you go. It's similar information you get from Apollo, but more, a lot more accurate data. Um, and overall, you could take this, put it into your cold email campaigns, send them out and you'll see the data for yourself. Very good, very high quality. Um, and again, better filtering overall because Apollo's filtering is just honestly bad, right? So that's that. That's pretty much the explanation of um, all the Apollo scrapers I've tried, why A-Leads is the best uh, overall. I've tested out so many, uh, and A-Leads just performs the best for us. So uh, what I'll do for you guys, if you do um, want to check out A-Leads, uh, you can use code Lead Academy, and that'll give you a thousand free leads to test out for yourself, plus 30% off every single subscription you ever buy from them for life. If this video was valuable to you, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.